At Mohila, we know it can be tough to juggle all of your expenses as hard as you try. Are bills racking up for your house, food, clothes, and maybe even kids? Did you lose your job? It's hard to consider what you would do if you get sick and miss a day of work or have to fix your car. If you're trying to manage your student loan payments and are looking for help, you have options. We can help find a path that fits your unique journey to paying off your student loans. We will discuss seven different repayment plans in this video. Each can help you successfully maneuver the path to paying off your loans. The first four plans are dependent on your income. There are also standard, extended, and graduated repayment plans. This video will offer highlights for each of these plans. Let's start with the IBR plan. IBR is available to borrowers with direct loans and federal family education loans, which are better known as FFELP loans. To qualify, you must have a partial financial hardship, demonstrating a need for a reduced payment compared to what you would pay on the standard plan. Your partial financial hardship is based on your total federal student loan debt, adjusted gross income, and family size. If you are approved for IBR, your student loan payments will generally be set at 15% of your discretionary income. IBR allows for 25 years, but you may pay off your loans in less time. Any remaining balance on your loans after 25 years may be forgiven. IBR requires annual recertification of income and family size. Next is the pay-as-you-earn repayment plan, which is similar to IBR. Pay-as-you-earn is only available for borrowers with direct loans. This plan is only available for new borrowers as of October 1, 2007, with federal direct loans dispersed on or after October 1, 2011. To qualify, you must have a partial financial hardship, demonstrating a need for a reduced payment compared to what you would pay on the standard plan. Your partial financial hardship is based on total federal student loan debt, adjusted gross income, and your family size. If you are approved for pay as you earn, your monthly payment will generally be set at 10% of your discretionary income. After making monthly payments for 20 years, any remaining balance may be forgiven. It's important to remember that you need to recertify for this plan annually. ICR is only available for borrowers with direct loans. Payments are calculated using your adjusted gross income, family size, and total federal student loan debt. Your monthly payments will be set at the lesser of 20% of discretionary income or a percentage of your payment on a standard plan with a 12-year repayment period. Any remaining balance after making monthly payments under ICR for 25 years may be forgiven. Once again, you need to recertify your income and family size annually. If you have direct loans and your life's journey takes you into a career in public service, payment plans based on your income may work particularly well for you. The Income Sensitive Repayment Plan is available for FELP loans and eligibility is based on your gross monthly income. Monthly payments change as your income changes. After five years on the Income Sensitive Repayment Plan, the loan defaults to the standard or graduated repayment plan. Guess what? This one also requires annual recertification of income and family size. Now that you have an overview of the income-driven repayment plans, we'll look at the others. The standard, extended, and graduated repayment plans are primarily based on how long it takes to pay off your loan. All three of these are available to borrowers of federal direct loans and FELP loans. The standard repayment plan is what you are automatically placed on when you enter repayment, unless you apply for another option. It is available for FELP and federal direct loans. This plan has equal monthly payments over 10 years and is the fastest and least expensive way to pay off your loan. But life happens on the path to paying off your loan and your unique circumstances may require one of the other plans in this video. The extended repayment plan is available to FELP and federal direct loan borrowers. 
Your minimum outstanding loan amount under the FELP or direct loan programs may affect your eligibility. You must have $30,000 in outstanding FELP or direct loans. This plan takes you on a longer path. Depending on your overall student loan debt and when you borrowed, this plan may call for monthly payments for between 12 and 25 years. It also lowers your monthly payment amount. Your payments could be a fixed amount from month to month, or they could start smaller and get bigger over time. The last plan we are going to talk about is the Graduated Repayment Plan. For FELP and Federal Direct Loans, this plan offers payments that start low and increase every two years. You might choose this plan if you expect to make more money down the road. We understand that you may still have questions about the repayment plans. Learn more about which will work for you. Visit Mohila.com to learn about additional eligibility requirements. Log in and click Lower Your Payments on the left-hand column for more details. You may request a change to your repayment plan at any time. If your circumstances don't fit the repayment plans, we encourage you to call us to discuss other options. You don't have to face the road ahead alone. Let us help you find a smoother path on your journey through repayment.